Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers! Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and... Welcome back to, after a very long and sort of unexpected hiatus from Pokemon Pearl... Welcome back to Pokemon Pearl! We're here, once again, outside the Pokemon League of the Sinnoh region, and, uh... If you didn't see the last episode, which went up probably, what, like a month and a half ago, something like that... We had quite... A time. Let's just leave it at that. We needed some time to recuperate and uh, regather ourselves. We do have a whole post game to get through here. I might be more lenient on the whole Nuzlocke type stuff with the post game stuff, but we'll see what happens. I'm sure we'll be fine with uh, you know the Pokemon I brought in. I'll show you them in just a second. But if you're excited for the return of Pokemon Pearl, leading us towards future generations with uh, Pokemon White being the next game we'll get into after we get the post game here in uh, Pokemon Pearl done, then feel free to drop a like down below for your excitement for this game coming back. All right, so spoilers for if you missed that last episode, but let's just say, as you can see on the layout down here, Sprout, our Venusaur, is the MVP, the most valuable Pokemon, because I don't know how we did it, but he pulled through, we defeated the champion, we are the new champion of the Sinnoh region, but, as you will see, there's some Pokemon bouncing around on the bottom screen there. We don't have just Sprout to work with. We've got a whole bunch of other Pokemon that we're adding to the team. I would have gone and checked out the uh, other species that we haven't had a lot of screen time here on the channel with, but I thought, you know what? I want to go with the decent levels and stuff, because I don't want to spend all this time grinding. I've grinded enough to take on the champion. So let's do a recap of who we have and what they are working with. We've got Rocky Hour Sand Slash at level 60, holding the hard stone to power up rock type attacks. He's from Kanto, one of our good Kanto born and raised Pokemon. He's from Distant Land, as it says. He's impetuous and silly, and he likes sweet food. He has Sand Veil. Defense is the best stat. Attack and speed are not bad either. He's got Dig, Rock Slide, Seismic Toss, and Sand Storm. Next up, we've got Sheldon Hour Blastoise, holding the soft sand. He's at level 60. Given, us, or given to us by Officer Jenny back in the Kanto region. He is a calm-natured Pokemon. He's highly persistent. He has Torrent ability, of course. Look at the defenses on this guy. Very nice. How is Speed his next best stat after the defenses? I don't think the Blastoise is being very fast. Anyway, he's got Surf, Ice Beam, Earthquake, and Bide. Next up, we got Blaze, our Charizard, at level 61, holding the Razor Claw for critical hit ratio increasement, if that's a word, which it is not. Given to us by Blaine of Cinnabar Gym. He is a quirky little Pokemon who is often lost in thought. And the ability is, just like his name indicates, Blaze. And look at those stats. Special attack is amazing. Speed is great as well. He's got Flamethrower, Dragon Claw, Fly, and Slash. Can we teach him Dragon Breath in this generation? I don't know, but we'll find out if we get some more attacks underway. I haven't, or I don't think I've taken them to the Move Relearner in Pistoria City just yet. I should take a look at that and see what they have. Next is our Dragon Slayer of the Kanto region, or is it... No, Johto, she was the Dragon Slayer. Clefable, or Fluffy, our Clefable. She's holding Quick Claw, sitting at level 61. She is a sassy little Pokemon with good perseverance. Uh, cute charm ability, infu uh, infuriating, no, infatuating foes on contact sometimes. She has Ice Beam, Dragon Slayer, Metronome, Calm Mind, and Moonlight. Now, you might remember she had Ice Punch, but I thought, let's go with Ice Beam instead, because look at those stats. Special attack is better than the attack, of course. And we've got Machamp at level 61, holding the Fist Plate also from Kanto. These are these are all Kanto Pokemon, actually. He is an adamant-natured Pokemon, which is amazing. Special attack down with physical attack going way up, or up, based on how your IVs go and stuff like that. And he's a highly curious Pokemon. He's got Guts ability, boosting attack even higher if he has a status condition. And we've got Strength, Vital Throw, Seismic Toss. Nope. Where'd I see that? Strength, Vital Throw, Dynamic Punch, Earthquake. There we go. And, last but not least, is our MVP on the team, Sprout. Our level 63 Venusaur holding Meadow Plate, gifted to us by Erica of Celadon Gym back in Kanto. He is a relaxed Pokemon. That's why he made it through. He came at it in a relaxed nature. He was calm and level-headed and stuff. Although he is quite tempered. Anyway, Overgrow is the ability. Uh, special Defense is his best stat, but the rest of the stuff's pretty even, except for the speed. And he's got Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, and Leech Seed. Alright, so with all that now being said and done, it is time to continue on with Pearl and head over to the post-game. As I said, this was a long, unexpected hiatus. I wasn't even really... I didn't even expect to fall off of playing the game as much as I did, or as 
for as long as I did. It just, I've been having so much fun doing live streams, and they have sort of taken priority and precedence on the channel. And I'm having fun in the more immediate way of contacting you folks out there in the chat as we're doing live streaming. But I realize I can't always be around every single time, every single day. So let's get some pre-recorded footage. Let's get our adventures back in Pearl underway and get ready to move on to Gen 5. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Yeah. Aye, aye, then. Let's set sail. So we're heading off to a part of the map, which we can't see yet on my screen. But we're going to find out we're in the top right island area of the Sinnoh region. Wow. Speedboat. All right. Hello, there's Evan. Haven't seen you in a long time, buddy. Oh, hey, Chaz. What took you so long? I'm finding you 100. Would you stop finding me? I'm not fine with that. Listen up. I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here, to toughen, my, toughen up myself and my Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever, and that's going to be really tough. Because you're talking about me. So he wants to become you. Is this like Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Or is Evan a ditto? To prove that, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you. This is the battle zone, okay? At the far end, there's a volcano. And deep inside the volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find that treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? That's what I'll do, Chaz. And you, and you too, stranger. I'm going to get that treasure first. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! Now, full disclaimer. If we do any battle tower stuff, that ain't Nuzlocke. You can't Nuzlocke battle tower. That guy, he can't stay still, can he? Anyways, howdy. I'm Buck. Sheesh, that punk can't beat me. So how do you... So do you know that zippity doo -dah of a trainer? You should chase after that guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up at the battle tower first, too. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. This guy. You don't even know who I am. I'm the champion! You even know? You don't know. Look, right over here. I got the thing. The ribbon. That's it. Howdy, trainer. You have a Pokedex, do you? I bet the person who gave you that is waiting for you to fill in that Pokedex completely. I've never done that. Howdy, trainer. Yada, yada, yada. Here's my advice. Go out and challenge other trainers. They'll often have different Pokemon, so your Pokedex should fill up fast. Now, I say I never do that, but... Ooh, berries. I'm doing that now in Pokemon... Uh, oh, I almost said Omega Sun. What? Pokemon Ultra Sun? Because when it comes time to breed up Pokemon to give you folks as prizes for our Wi-Fi battling, I want a better chance of getting you folks some shiny Pokemon. I've only hatched... In all my time breeding Pokemon in the Game Boy Advance games and, uh, you know, uh, DS games, 3DS games, I've only ever hatched one shiny. I'm keeping her. My first shiny was a female Totodile with hidden ability, nice IVs, and egg moves. And I'm like, how did I manage to get that shiny? I mean, I'm not complaining. I was just confused. But I don't even have the shiny charm yet. So I want to try to get the shiny charm to have a better chance to get shiny Pokemon as gifts for you folks who do our Wi-Fi battling. Your Pokemon are, for Sin are from Sinnoh, aren't they? None of them are. They're not used to what we're seeing around here. Or they're not what we're used to seeing around here. There we go. I can read eventually. It's going to be two tries. Whenever I go to a new place, I get excited over what I might discover. The places I've never visited before. See? Give me two tries, I'll read it right. But, hang on. Why is my phone still awake? Go to sleep. Timer's going. Even those places thrill me with new discoveries. Places he's already been, he says. Alright, so you can't get through here because there's boxes and trees. It's kind of hard to walk through physical objects like that. Unless... You have a Federation phase shifter. The battle tower's as tough as they say. It's no cakewalk, that's for sure. Man, I like cake. The best trainers from around the country... No, the best trainers from around the world gather here. Ooh, spooky. To toughen myself. To toughen my Pokemon. For that alone, I have come. Alright, let's see if we can toughen up too. Which is weird that he says that, because you don't gain experience in Battle Tower. There's no end to becoming tough. I just made that up. But it sounds kind of cool, huh? No, that's what Goku says. You got it right. You know, gotta always aim higher than we are at. See, I've said this before. If I come in second in something, to me that's almost better than coming in first. Because coming in second proves that you still have one extra step that you can go. So you know there's always room for improvement. If you come in first... You might feel like, you know, oh, I've plateaued, I've got the top, what's what's more to do? So you gotta become better than yourself at that point. It's easier to become better than someone else, like an outside influence, than yourself, because maybe, I don't know, I would think it's easier to see a target and aim for that rather than hit that target and say, well, I gotta somehow get above that. 
Just food for thought. Because of the volcano, the land here around the land around here is craggy. The rough terrain and all the ups and downs make it hard to hike. Well, I've got a bike, so I don't need to hike. Thank you, Mike. All right, what do you got? Let's turn chick. Chick chick. You're actually not even from this generation. What are you doing here? The battle zone used to attract only the hardiest of trainers. They were considered eccentric for gathering in a place like this. It's hard to believe how much has changed since then. So you say a bunch of scrubs are here now? Places like the fight area and the survival area just seem to spring up overnight. Used to attract the hardiest trainers. Now anyone is available. He was one of those early eccentrics who were around during the early days of the battle zone. Well, I was too. Neat. Remember back when it was all just uh, farmland and old man Peabody had this pine tree farm and stuff like that? You guys know Back to the Future? Watch Back to the Future, even though it now all takes place in the past. Even from here, we could see the peak of Mount Coronet. Most people didn't notice what happened up there, but I did. But I don't know what took place exactly or anything like that. Well, let me tell you a tale. I actually go back a few episodes to check out my playthrough. Everyone's fanatical about battling. Well, that's kind of true of just Pokemon in general. Would you get out the door? Thanks. A little bit more to check out here. I wonder what the shop sells. The Pokemon League's Elite Four come here sometimes, do they? As long as Cynthia stays away. Actually, I'm not too fan of what's the guy's name, Lucian. What item should Pokemon hold? It's an important question. There's something else to think about. That's like Razor Claw. I'll take a scope lens. Now, which Pokemon will you give that scope lens to? Nobody. Did I just add to your worries? Nope. I already have my Razor Claw. Thanks, but I appreciate that free item. An item that guarantees you won't ever lose a battle. I want that. Aw, oh, they don't sell anything like that. Isn't it Victini, though? Alright, what do you sell? What do you sell? We got Pokeballs. We need more of those. No, we got 55. I haven't bought items in... F I haven't even checked the bag in so long. Ooh, we could probably use... Yeah, actually. After all the battling we went through. Let's restock the Hypers. We need any Supers. No, we're good for those. How about Maxes? I'll grab 10 more of those. Full Restores could be good. I still can't... Like, I would have to go back and rewatch the, uh... The battle against Cynthia to recap what happened because I can't even remember it went, first of all it was so long ago second of all it's somewhat unbelievable that we managed to pull through like we had two Pokemon going into the uh, the champion battle we lost one pretty early on Sprout how did you do it I've battled many trainers over the years I've gathered oops, well kind of gained some confidence in my skill levels too but the world is still a huge place it's not easy to win in life it can be a challenge oh the battle park is ahead where trainers train the way Battle Tower looms, it really is a wall that stands before every trainer. Now, can I leave this way first? Or is someone try to force us back? Oh, it's Gabby and Ty. Should I beat them up? Let's hang on. I think there's berries. Yes, there is. What are these? These look like Kelpsy and Apricot berries? Did I actually just get these right? I'm going to check the other one. No! I was half right, though. I got the Kelpsy berries right. We got some Grappa berries. I forget what these ones do. I think these are all just for, like, Pokeblock. Uh, or, I mean, Poffin ingredients. Pokeblock, that was a generation ago. Get with the times, Professor. You'll notice I'm not replenishing the berries at this point because I'm pretty much almost done with the game anyway. And I think I have plenty of berries harvested up over uh, the uh, past several episodes. But I feel kind of bad in that when I take berries and don't replant them, no one else can gain berries. So that's usually why I replant. I think these folks are here to stop me from advancing forward. Hold it right there, trainer. Have you been to the battle tower? It's a good place to learn useful battle techniques. You get all you get to see all sorts of Pokemon and their moves also. Hold it right there, trainer. Since you're here, you're gonna visit the battle tower. You don't earn experience points and your Pokedex isn't updated there. It's a place solely for trainers to hone their own skills. So yeah, there's nowhere to go but up. Or rather north. Alright, let's go here. Welcome to the battle park! It's your first time, isn't it? Please step this way. Let's see what this is all about. Since this is your first visit, you need to be given a point card. Point cards are the are only used in the battle park. Here you go. We got the point card, and we have a whopping... How much time left? About 10 minutes. We can do probably some battles here. If you need information on the point card, please ask the receptionist next to me. I'm the one to ask if you need hiccups, any information on the facilities here in the battle park. For information on the battle rules used at the battle park, please ask the receptionist across from me. Good luck. Do I want to hear about all that? <sighs> kind of not. Battle tower's up ahead. I wonder what kind of trainers are waiting now. I'm going to skim through. Welcome to Battle Park! Alright, how do the BPs work? Point card. Every trainer visiting Battle Park given a point card. Confirms their challenger status. It stores the BP that you earn from battling in the tower. And what is BP? 
Short for battle points are used only in Battle Park. You'll earn BP by hitting certain performance targets at the tower. The BP can be traded for, ex for prizes at the exchange service corner. That's good. Alright, so this is how you get some special TMs, maybe. Uh, I don't know if there's move tutors in this, but pr I think Platinum had move tutors. Alright, what's the battle rules? Let's hear about level limit. Battle tower, you may enter in Pokemon in battles that are capped at level 50. What if I can't use my guys? Pokemon up to level 50, maybe enter with a few exceptions. Okay, Pokemon above level 50 will be lowered to 50, just like they are currently nowadays and stuff like that. The reduced level will be restored when you leave the battle tower. Please keep in mind your opponents will not use Pokemon below level 50. That is good. Species and numbers, excluding eggs and certain exotic Pokemon, virtually every species of Pokemon may enter. Please be aware the number of Pokemon you enter will depend on the course you challenge. I'll permit to take only one of each kind of Pokemon into the battle tower. How about the hold items? I bet it's only one of each. Your Pokemon may not be holding the same kind of item in Battle Tower. Please be sure the Pokemon entering the tower are all holding different items. Thank you! Alright, that's pretty standard fare for the current generations of Battle Towers and stuff. Oh, welcome to Battle Park. Welcome to the Battle Park. Alright, let's get in here. Let's get at least one battle underway to make everyone happy so I can explore the rest of the uh, battle zone. The types of Pokemon. The moves to be taught and used. The items to be held. To become number one, there's no detail that can be overlooked. That is true. Definitely, this is almost going into Team Mystic, in where it says, you know, preparation and research before battle is important to make sure you know what you're doing. I'd love to hook up with a beauty for the multi-room, or multi-battle multi rooms. Good luck. Alright, let's grab... a Razor Fang. That's just like Razor Claw. No, wait. Razor Fang might cause flinching, I believe. I heard that the world's best gather here for battles. This is my chance to get global fame and recognition. All you gotta do is start a YouTube channel. People will take notice of you then. Wahaha! We earned a lot of BP at the Battle Tower! Now I can exchange them for loads of prizes! Sweet. I'm a babysitting trainer. I'm off to the multi-battle rooms with my beloved son. Eh! You sure that's the wisest course of action? I mean, what if he's like a Pokemon prodigy, actually? Exchange corner, exchange service corner, a cornucopia of fabulous prizes. Funny, I can't read the word service, but I can read cornucopia pretty fine. What I most care about is the crushing power of my darling Pokemon. Are there any prizes that would help them get more power? Power band, power anklet, power bracer, stuff like that. Did you see that little girl with her grandmother upstairs? I just stepped in. That girl is a little terror in battle. You can never judge people. That's true. Alright, what do you got? I got zero BP. You can change your BP for fabulous items. What would I like? So this is kind of cool. You can get multiple TMs of certain attacks in the battle tower. I can get more than one Toxic, that's nice. I can get more than one Thunder Wave. Back before it was nerfed. Will-O-Wisp is decent. What else do you got? Track. Eh, I don't I don't use a track, but whenever I get hit by it, I always think I should use a track. Aerial Ace, that's not bad. Fully accurate. You can also get Brick Break. Not bad. Shattering those Reflex and Light Screens. Bulk Up. Pretty decent as well. This is Calm Mind, I believe. Yep. And TM81. x Scissor. How do I know that? What the? Sometimes my memory just kicks in. TM30 is gonna be... Safeguard? No. Shadow Ball. That's decent. I might do that. I might do a lot of this Battle Tower off screen and get all these uh, TMs and stuff too. Energy Ball. Although if I recall, it takes a lot of BP, or a lot of battling to get the BP to do this stuff. Sludge Bomb, TM36. We've got... Dragon Pulse, TM59. I could probably teach that to Blaze. That'd be nice. 71 Stone Edge. Not fully accurate, but good power behind it. And the last one is Earthquake. Multiple Earthquake TMs. Although, I believe in this generation, if you have a Pokemon with pickup in your party, if they're high enough level, they might find TM26 randomly. It's crazy. Grandma, Grandma, I went and traded. You can have this, Grandma. Oh, what is it, dear? Oh, a Sludge Bomb. Why, thank you so much, dear. You're such a cute, tough, and kind girl. I feel blessed to have a grandchild like you. You didn't sound blessed. Listen to that voice. I know I gave it to you, but still. This building is so grand. Why does it need to be so? Why not? There's a bunch of battling and stuff. This is what Pokemon's all about. How's it going? If things aren't going well, why not grab some prizes here? It might toughen up your Pokemon just enough to do better. True, true. Okay, what do you have over here? You get, like, the items. You give pro. Okay, so these are stat boosters. There's the power items. Toxic Orb is decent. Flame Orb is nice. White Herb, Power Herb, Bright Power. Look at all this. Choice Band, Focus Band. You got Focus Sash. I like it. We got another Scope Lens here. A Muscle Band. Choice. Actually, I already said Choice Band. Choice Scarf is good. 
you have choice specs. Razor Claw, Razor Fang, Razor... Or Razor Candy. Right, that would be painful. Uh, I don't see a choice specs. But that's fine. We got a lot of choice items here, though. So, we could actually get some cool stuff. What to get today? Perhaps a technical machine will do. So, this is more in, in, uh, in line, in tune with the uh, competitive side of battling. Because, oh, who is this, man? This looks like Super Evan. Thud. What the? Whoops, sorry about that. I was in a rush. Oh, wait a second. Aren't you... You're Chaz from Twinleaf. Wow, that brings back memories. So if you're here, he can't be far behind. I've been watching a lot of Cinema Sins lately, and this makes me think... Uh, what's this guy's name? I forget. This guy plays the pronoun game to make me ask who he is. This should be fun. See you! Oh, would you just... You saw me there, Evan. You aimed. I didn't just come out of a door. What the? Oh, hey, Chaz. You came to the Battle Tower, too, huh? I decided I'll see how I measure up before going to Stark Mountain. We get to meet Iron Man? But that guy you were just talking to. Nah, it's all right. I got here on my own power. It won't take long before I see him. Evan plays the pronoun game to make me ask. See ya, Chaz. I'm going to toughen up here. Again, you don't gain experience, though. There's no training. What are you talking about? I mean, it's just to learn what a Pokemon can do, I guess. If you get a big win at the Battle Tower, you get to battle some real superstars. In the battle rooms, the seventh trainer you face is the room's boss. You need to stay focused if you want to win. Now, I didn't like the Battle Towers in this generation, or at least the first couple generations, because I'm pretty sure you need to make it to the seventh to earn any battle points. Nowadays, as you beat every trainer along the way, you gain battle points for that, which is a lot better in my opinion. That's a Pichu! Listen to it. Pichu! Pichu! I want to say, it's a Pikachu! There are so many tough trainers around. It's scary, let's do our best, Pikachu! The Wi-Fi battle rooms are full of surprises. One surprise is, it won't work on this game. Can you imagine running into an old rival who moved far away? Who knows what cool encounters you'll have? Excuse me, do you have a moment? Can you describe your feelings when you're about to be in a battle? I want to also know how you feel when you win, lose, or become number one. Uh, I ain't saying. It's going to waste time. So that's basically, you can choose your uh, your expressions, your, your catchphrases, for when people battle you online and stuff like that. So we're not doing that. We don't need to waste time. I trained my little guy till he couldn't take any more. That is excessive. You might want to actually ease up a bit. He's going to do a 100 win streak for sure. Right, Pikachu? Ah, he's all exhausted. You can't do that. Did I talk to you? Yep. Full of surprises. Now, why do you have a parasol inside? Is it raining in here? Yeah, I used to live in a place called Hoenn. She brought the Torchic. There was a place like this back there, too. I wasn't very fond of that one. Actually, I got ribbons from that one. I do remember Sprout, back in the day, was part of a winning team, and he got one of the Battle Tower ribbons that was so cool. Ooh la la, you look tremendously powerful. Verily, I shall look forward to engaging you in a battle. They profile you on TV if you set a good record here. This is my only chance to regain my glory as an idol. A Trainer's Day. This program offers unique looks into the daily lives of trainers. We cover a variety of topics that affect and concern trainers. Let's examine one aspect of a Trainer's Day. It's time for the planting one watering show for berry gardeners. We bring you this show with the berry guru as a returning guest. Ayo, ayo. Today we look at, that's all he says, Chaz's Pekka berry plant. It appears to have been nurtured with utmost care. Ayo. The plant bore four berries. Chaz has a brilliant knack for we know about berries. Thank you, yada, yada, yada. All right, what do we have for time? I've still got, eh, it's only about a minute. I don't think we have time to jump in just yet. You know what? This is our first time back. I'm jumping in. If this video gets extended, good stuff. Welcome to the Battle Tower. I'm your guide to the single and double battle rooms. Would you like to take the Battle Room Challenge? The Battle Tower single battle rooms are facilities for conducting single battles with three Pokemon. Similarly, double battles are for four Pokemon. There are many battle rooms in the Battle Tower for team battles. In each of the battle rooms, seven trainers write your challenge. If you manage to defeat all seven, you'll earn battle points. If you, earn, if you want to interrupt the challenge, please save the game. If you don't save, you'll be disqualified from your challenge. Would you like to take the Battle Room Challenge? On second thought, I am going to hold off on that. I'll make the next episode all about the battling. We're going to exit for the moment. We're just going to save it up here. But with that, we are back to our Pokemon Pearl Gen 4 playthrough. I want to record more. I want to do this next thing. So we'll do that in just a moment, but you'll see it tomorrow as we get back into the swing of things here on the Professor Chaz channel. So if you want to get um, updated on all the videos as they go up, Feel free to subscribe if you're not currently subscribed, and you'll get these updates as these videos go live for you to check out. There's also a bunch of live streaming that I'm doing lately with, uh, tonight gonna be Pokemon TCG Online. 
unless they have that maintenance going on, which might interrupt that, but we'll see what happens. And there's more live streams during the week. Check out the channel for the uh, live stream schedule as I have all these uh, events updated and prepared and ready to roll. And if you like today's episode of Pokemon Pearl, of course, feel free to drop a like down below. And if you want to get caught up on all the adventures of Pokemon Pearl thus far, you can check out the link in the description to the whole playlist and see just what has happened along the way to get us to where we are right now. But that is going to be it, because timer is now up. Look at that. So with all that being said, Professor Chaz is now signing off. Thank you folks for tuning in and checking out our return to Sinnoh today. And with me signing off, I will catch you next time.